Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have an order from Gold Spot Pens. So until recently, I had always purchased from GouletPens.com. They're fairly local to me, and so that was just my first choice. Uh, however, when they halted the sales on Noodler's Ink, I had to look elsewhere for my ink needs. And Gold Spot Pens was one of the places I ordered from. I had a really positive experience from that order, and so have ordered again. Uh, this is a birthday present for my sister. My brother and I both went in to buy her a new fountain pen, so I'm really excited to see this. So I will be unboxing. That is if I can get the box open. But I will not be inking up, but I promise it will be worth it to see the pen. It is a Banu pen. She is, I'm not really sure I can say she's a unicorn and rainbows girl, but she definitely likes some color and sparkles. Let's see, okay, there goes the receipt, don't need that. So I ordered one little thing for me and I think that's it, so I'll set it aside. Some ink, get into the box, and the pen. So she had expressed to me on several occasions that she wanted a Banu pen, and she had several that she was interested in, but she didn't want to purchase one for herself. She thought that such a sparkly, beautiful thing should be a gift from someone, and I thought that was a really sweet idea, and of course, I fell for it, so it totally worked. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is Banu's Peacock Ore from their Talisman line. And I'm just going to open it. I love Banu's presentation, by the way. Their boxes are lovely. I didn't think I was going to enjoy the presentation the first time I purchased a Banu pen. Uh, I thought it was, you know, maybe a little underdone, but it's not. It's absolutely stunning in person. I actually enjoy the little paper envelope. It's just less stuff you have to hold on to. My, my. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so hands down, just completely stunning in person. I watched a lot of videos of people showing off this pen just to make sure this was indeed something I thought she would enjoy, and wow, those videos did not do this pen justice. I chose a medium nib for her. She is typically a fine, extra fine nib kind of gal, but she had expressed wanting to try a wider nib size. And Banu, uh, they of course were a Russian company and had to move to Armenia to keep their company going, and they've recently opened their online shop back up, so I'm very excited to hear that because this whole unit, nib unit actually, well, if I can get the whole thing to come out right now, there is the converter. This whole unit should, here we go, screw right out, and you can change the nib sizes that easily. So you can purchase the other size nibs from their website. I don't know if they have them anywhere else, but I know you can get them from their website for sure. I am personally wanting to purchase some for myself. I have two Banu pens, and I love them, even though they are sparkly. <laughs> Sparkle's not usually my thing. I, I do enjoy having encapsulated sparkle that can't uh, rub off on me in any way that I find kind of entertaining. One of my favorite things about the Banu pens is just sitting there and twirling it and looking at all of the crazy sparkle. Wow. That just looks like fire. That is amazing. She is going to love this. It's going to match so many of her notebooks and her accessories. Okay, and ink-wise, I wasn't really sure which ink to buy. I wanted to get her something to kind of match the pen. Let's see. The tape is really insistent on staying. So I went with Dimeline bow blue. I don't know if anyone is familiar with this color. Probably can get it open. But 
I figure either way, even if it isn't a direct match, it will pick up some kind of tone in this pen and I think she'll like it. So those are for her for her birthday. I'm really excited to give them to her. It's going to be hard to wait. And then one of my viewers, I try to pick up items that people suggest for me to try. Sometimes financially, I just can't handle it all, but someone had suggested I try this Urban uh, Le Désir uh, in English. Uh, I think it's Dregs of Tea. I think that's what I looked up before. So I will try that and use it in an upcoming video. Ugh, but this pen. Absolutely stunning. I love how they have the hinged clip as well. It's just easier to get on and off things and it stays put. Well, thank you so much for watching. And I would love to know if you have tried Banu, if you have a Banu pen that you love to use or perhaps are looking at one for future purchase. I would love to see what everyone else likes. Um, thank you so much for watching.